told you how this began. Now tell me why. How do I stop Deimos if I'm dead? Your body is dead, but your mind remains alive. I'm connected through your direct neural interface in your subconscious. To save humanity, you must open the portal. With your body gone, the only way to do this is to train your mind. Train... my mind? Relive the events preceding your last. Only then can you alter them, change them. <laughs> this... now this is insane. Let me show you. Think back to when you first met Taylor. Think back to 2065. You're on a train in Switzerland. I'm heading toward downtown Zurich. I'm Taylor. That's him. Commander John Taylor. The first dead killer. The definition of determination. I was a rookie then. Fresh blood. There weren't many of us. There were more rumors about our division than actual recruits. They said we were engineered to be immune to 6115. That we couldn't get infected. This was your first mission? Yes. Five years after the outbreak, most cities had at least one containment zone. But Zurich managed to stay outbreak free. Now someone wanted to change that. Wait, this, this, this feels wrong. This can't be right. This, this can't be real. How are you doing this? I am not doing anything. This is your mind. I'm the passenger, you're the pilot. But tell me, do you remember the train exploding? No! Stop! Make it stop! Dr. Salim, what's happening? What's going on? You must be calm. This is your memory, and you dictate the truth. But your mind can play tricks on you, it can deceive you, and it can lie. This never happened, but it nearly did. You and Taylor stopped it. How can I see something that never happened? What am I seeing? And why does it feel so real? The human mind is fragile, easily swayed by an incorrect recounting of events. This was one outcome your mind feared. Start from the beginning and take me through the mission. Once we organize everything correctly, we'll be able to find the truth. Tell me about the raid. The raid. There was a Katardis terrorist collective. They were planning something big. But they knew we were coming. Stop. Don't rush through. Let us start with who was with you. You were not alone, after all. Taylor. He told me they'd received a tip about the Katardists. These undead sympathizers had sprung up around the globe in the years following the outbreak. They believed the undead were the next step in human evolution. To become undead, was to live. The dead should inherit the Earth. <laughs> Crazy, right? Was it only Taylor? Was there anyone else? Sebastian Diaz. The man we saw at Coalescence, who would disable the undead defenses. And back then, he was Taylor's second in command. He would take point on the raid. Hostile encounters were expected with the undead, but that didn't seem to bother him. They were so relaxed. The dead threatened Zurich. They were fearless. Didn't take away our own fears. If I was gonna learn my stuff, it'd be on the job. This mission was my training. For him, it was just another day in the life. Business as usual. And business was booming.
What are these drops I keep saying? I saw them in coalescence too. It is your mind trying to help you through your memories. Weapons, abilities, powers. Use them or don't, but they may offer you a temporary advantage. Where did the ass take you next? I still have to get to the factory entrance. Fuck yeah. A generator to get it open. That was around the corner, with more dead standing in our way. I had an arsenal in front of me, but Diaz made it clear. He told me to run point on the ground. He was curious to see me think on my feet. In a way, he was acting as your training. Diaz wanted me to earn the name Dead Killer. <laughs> and there's really only one way you can do that. I had support that day, but when you're out there in the real world, you're on your own. No backup. No reinforcements. Just you and the undead. I'd show him I was worthy of the name. The Cotardis base of operations was just ahead. Once we were inside, we'd be able to figure out what they were planning. What's happening? I, I can't... No, no, stay with me. Come back to my voice. I can't. I, do, I don't understand. Tell me what happened. I, I saw... I don't know. I saw robots and they were... They, they were ripping me apart. What's happening to me? What was I seeing? It is a lapse. Your mind is wandering into the unknown. Your subconscious finding fears, dreams, doubts. Stay with me. Stay with my voice. You're still in the factory. You were about to make a discovery. We... I... I yes, yes, there, there was a console ahead. And Diaz told me to interface to get access to their network. We had to find out what they were planning. Had you ever extracted information with your DNI before? No. 
and nothing can really prepare you for it. The flood of data, endless streams of infinite information. It's instantaneous, and it's an eternity. What did it show you? The Cotardas had a contact, an inside man at Coalescence World Headquarters in Zurich. We had his address, ID number, security details, the last of which was most telling. He had extensive security clearance at Coalescence. Specifically, he had access to 6115, the virus. Then let us do just that. Let us find him. Take me to his apartment. We were ready to breach, but it didn't go as planned. He was ready. I had to get him after him. Our mark was going to release 6115 into the surrounding area. Remember, walk before you run. You weren't alone. Who else was there? Taylor? Taylor. Yes, he discovered our mark had just unleashed the virus into Old Town, turning civilians into the living dead. But Taylor didn't leave that day. No, he had Overwatch. He was our eyes in the sky. Sarah Hall, however... Sarah Hall, the team's intelligence expert, was with me. She had point. She found our mark. Apparently his supply of 6115 was ten times what we initially believed. Enough to turn all of Zurich into a city of the dead. Hall had been with Taylor as long as Diaz. He practically raised her, trained her. He made her. With Taylor in the sky, Hall was our feet on the ground. She didn't have as much patience for fresh blood as Diaz. She was direct and focused. And right now, she was about to give me a lesson in target acquirement. Oh, fuck. This guy didn't mess around. He had DNI just like us. He was hijacking any robotics he could, sending them after us. What happened when you caught him? Our mark was bleeding out after that fall through the ceiling. Time wasn't on our side and we needed information. So what did you do? I would do what Hendrix did in Coalescence. I had to interface with him. Extract the information from his memories. You make it sound cold. You would be diving into this man's mind. A dangerous task. A terminal task. I know. But you have to make it cold. Detach yourself from the person. It was our first time performing this sort of interface, and Hall wanted to get that point across above all else. It's nothing personal, because there is no person. They're not humans. They're databanks for pilfering. Even though it would kill him? Even though... <sighs> it's ironic, really. Ironic? Hall teaching me how to raid a person's mind. It wouldn't be long before... Well... We know what happens to Hall. What I do to Hall. But we do what we have to do. This was the world we made. If we don't do it, if we can't sacrifice the individual, how do we protect everyone else? That is a heavy burden to press upon the individual. If not us, then who? This was what it was about. 
being part of an undead extermination team, being a dead killer. It's about making that sacrifice, making the ultimate sacrifice. What did you find? What secrets did your databank have to share? The Kutardis group had set up shop deep in the subways. Whatever they were planning, the answers were there. Information that would stop the bomb, save millions of lives, the greater good. <laughs> yeah, the greater good. Taylor joined us. If we were going to move on the subway, we had to act fast. The attack, whatever it was, was imminent. And your mark? What happened to him after your interface? He was gone. Dead. Fight ahead. Fearing discovery, the Kutardis Collective had an armada of undead and patrolling robotics guarding the facility. I won't lie, it's strange seeing Moretti like this, knowing what happens next. He was crucial to finding Taylor, to finding Deimos. You mean the refineries in Cairo? He had a pivotal part to play. He just didn't know it yet. What he knew then was the way to the hideout. He took point. Mystery box. Thank God. Ray gun. Ray gun. Ray gun. I like that. Katardis group had planted a biochemical bomb containing 6115 on a maglev train. They were going to detonate it in downtown Zurich. Their plan was to turn the whole city as we feared. Taylor said there wasn't much time, but I'd done good. For all the on-the-job training I'd been through, I'd done all right for myself. All that was left was to find the train.
You connected events and arrived at the truth. Now what happens? Now we set things right. Through your mind, you realign the events as they occur. And by doing this, if I work with you and remember the events leading up to Zurich, you will be able to open the gateway. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let us finish here first. I found the bomb car. The whole thing was wired up, primed to blow. There, there wasn't time. I couldn't disarm it. So what did you do? Remember how we can't get infected? Some of the rumors about us were true. That's why I was there. Why we make the sacrifice. I used my cybernetic abilities to reverse the polarity of the train car and detach it. The car unleashed the gas. It's different outside the city. And you lived? I didn't know I'd make it at the time, but I turned out all right. It wasn't the last time I cheated death. No. No, 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 no. I remember this place. What are they doing to me? Dr. Salim, what am I seeing? Taylor? Why can't I move? You must let this go. Stay with me. Relax. Come back to me. Come back to the void. 